guys it's jessie welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video welcome back to my bookshelves apologies for the lighting it's raining it's really miserable outside and it gets dark at like 4 p.m here so i kind of just have to film this one today uh where i can and secondly you can kind of see a little bit in the mirror um this is the best angle we are going to get with the way that my bookshelves are today we are going to be reorganizing my bookshelves i'm so excited basically i have got some new books um that i have read these are all red books by the way um like since coming back from uni i brought all the books i've read in the time i've been away back here so i will need to kind of add more things onto the shelves i want to reorganize i've also got a new shelf at the bottom i'll give you a little overview in a second and i want to kind of move one up slightly so I have more space on that shelf um, and just kind of reorganize a little bit so that's what we're going to do today and then I also want to tackle my TBR shelf which I think I want to start organizing by genre rather than kind of I think it was just like vague interest um kind of at the moment and I've also got some books I just hauled that I need to put away so let's do a little overview now so as you guys will know I've got my bookshelves here we do have some lights I think I'm going to be casualties in this video because I have a feeling that they are going to fall down um romance at the top mystery thriller favorites all of which need a little reorganized this shelf's kind of okay this is sci-fi fantasy into horror though I might need to move this around a bit just to make the other shelves work and then here is these are just all the books that I shoved on here that brought back from uni this shelf i'm thinking of moving up a little bit which will mean i need to move yellow face and potentially atomic habits um this is just kind of general fiction um and then yeah have another shelf up so this one's got a little bit more space because it's really cramped so like this will have a little bit less space this will have a little bit more here i've got all the books i just hauled that i need to put away and then here is my tbr i want to organize this by genre so first we're going to tackle the actual bookshelves and do some reorganization i'm not sure like how much talking i'm actually going to do because i'm going to be reorganizing my bookshelves i don't know how much i have to to say um but yeah i mean let's just get started so the top shelf here is romance i think my plan at the moment i want to turn this one sideways to fit more on here change around this stack for it to be like my favorites i guess and then just move things around a little bit so that's what we'll start with Took some time to think about what you said it wasn't right Intentions we both misread but pride aside My actions I won't defend, no And every time I see you gotta hold myself down I'm not used to the feeling but it's pulling me now That is the top shelf done, I think, for now. I'm quite happy with that. I think that's quite fun. I have room for another favourite-ish up here because I kind of don't want it to go over the top of the hardbacks that you can see. But yeah, I feel pretty happy with that. Now we'll move on to the shelf. We're taking these YA off and also this one that's more kind of literary fiction. I think that's all I have to add to there, so that's okay. Okay, now for my favourite shelf. I have a lot I want to do on here, so might take a little bit of rearranging but uh, let's see what we can do okay we are back i ran out of good lighting yesterday and time etc so i finished off this shelf which i will take you through um in the kind of big overview um this one is just a placeholder for when i get my special edition and yeah i thought i had it done and then i realized i wanted bright young women facing out so i had to reorganize it again but i am happy with it now um today we are going to be focusing on these bottom kind of set of shelves so what i'm thinking about here is i want to take all the ya off here do like a full ya shelf and then kind of like a literary shelf down here and then this shelf can just be fantasy um sci-fi into horror and that's kind of the vibe i'm thinking for and i also want to move this shelf up one so i'll have to take everything off here so yeah that is the plan and i'm pretty much just going to do that now to be honest so yeah um a little time lapse maybe we will see
Okay, so sorry about the poor lighting, but this is gonna be a time lapse, so hopefully it's not too bad. Basically what I'm gonna do now is take all the books off here, take all my pile of books that I just hauled and separate them out into genres to then reorganize these shelves. And I'm gonna time lapse it. So hopefully the lighting's not too bothersome. So now I obviously have all the books off. I'm just trying to think about what I want to do because obviously this shelf has more space. Because I think the most hardbacks I have are mystery thriller where I have three. I have two for horror and I have two for sci-fi fantasy. So that's what I need for like this top shelf, if that makes any sense. Um, but I do have some that are other shapes. Like it's, it's awkward shapes and sizes, that's the issue. Um, and I also don't know what to do about YA here because I've just got like a general YA category. So I've got romance, sci-fi fantasy, tiny little horror which i'll probably move into actually i'll move the horror into the sci-fi fantasy and that will be what goes on the top shelf i guess and then um mystery thriller i guess i can start a little bit of a sideways stack maybe i'm not too sure i'll have to have a think and work it out but again we will time lapse this all if we could run it if we could run it back into So now I believe we have my finished shelves. So this is just an overview of what they look like. Obviously, I don't have the lights on at the moment. I'm overall really, really happy with this. This is kind of like just how I was wanting it. And I'm glad I've got a little bit of extra space here now, which is fun. So to run it through, the top shelf is still romance. But we've got a lot more space here because I've turned it into a sideways. Oh, I just noticed these are not in the right order. It starts with us, comes second. So there we go. Okay. So we have, um, it starts with us and it ends with us. And then we have a stack of my kind of more favorite romances I really enjoyed. And then over here, I've kind of tried to keep all this together. So we've got um, Emily Henry into Christina Lauren, Lauren Asher, and then some other authors that I did enjoy. Um, this top shelf is kind of like more favorite romances, I guess. And then down here, we have mystery thriller. So um, we've got some more hardbacks here. These ones are all more thriller. And then these side are more mystery, which is great. I still like that we have some favorite out I don't want to kind of turn them all sideways and then here we have my favorite shelf which I'm so pleased with I'm so glad I could fit kind of the books I wanted to on here so firstly obviously it stayed of course it stayed Thursday Murder Club convenience store woman true crime store and horror store I kind of tried to split these up into kind of like darker stuff here and then more romance here although this is quite dark but I do think it goes with the brighter colors this is a placeholder because I'm hoping to get the special edition for Christmas and I'm gonna pop that there and I don't know what I'll do with this copy happy place into Magnolia Park Bright Young Women, which is a new favourite for me. Um, and yeah, I've popped that face out just because I'm obsessed with the cover. And then two of my favourite romances here. Then we move down. This is kind of the shelf that you saw me doing just now. Um, we have fantasy here. Um, obviously with Cersei, I don't quite know where to put that because it's Greek mythology, but I kind of would say fantasy. This is kind of just a little sci-fi stack to kind of move into the other bits. And this was kind of just the perfect size to fill up the shelf, though I will probably put this sideways once I read more from this genre. Then we have some kind of magical realism an adult dystopian and then we move into horror here i'm so annoyed that this grady hendrix is slightly smaller than this because otherwise i'd have all of them together but you know it's fine then we move down and this is where we have our first little gap just because this is my ya shelf i did think about putting this sideways but it doesn't actually create much more space so i really like having the shatter me series all here i've just got two more books to read and then i will be able to have the full series on my shelf which will look great so this side we have more ya mysteries and then on this side we have kind of dystopian into one ya horror and then two ya romance romances so yeah I really like quite like the look of this shelf and from like where my bed and my desk are I can't see this side as much as I can see this side so that's why this is a bigger gap and then down here um ignore 
the lights that are falling apart. We have um, translated fiction into um, short story collections and then general fiction. This is general fiction, this is more like literary mystery I guess and then one historical fiction. This shelf is just non-fiction mixed with slightly oversized books that don't fit on the shelf but overall I like the way it looks. And then here we have kind of fictiony romances into just a additional romances down there and then that is just a miscellaneous shelf at the bottom. So that is my full red shelf and I am so happy with it, I love it. And then moving on, here we have my TBR shelf. I love the way this looks. My favourite part of this is definitely my black and white stack here. I love it. So this is all organised by genre now which is much nicer I think. This was kind of just like a means to an end before but now I feel like it actually adds something to the room and is more kind of like cared for I guess. So at the top here we've got fantasy into horror starting after this stack. I'm obsessed with stack. I just love it. I love the way it looks. I know this one, these two are kind of like, this is more kind of like maroony-ish and this is more kind of cream but I think it still works. Then this is kind of just oversized. We move into thrillers. Um, this is a mystery and this is a mystery but then the rest of these are all thrillers I believe. Then we move down into just mystery here and a little bit of YA before we get kind of again two oversized books so I had to do a sideways stack. This is kind of dystopian type thing. Then we move into more YA here, into a little bit of YA romance which leads us nicely, sorry ignore the mess, into more romance at the bottom here. Leaning, kind of changing between Malibu Rising and One True Loves into just general fiction. And then we have a stack here of some oversized books and then three classics. So yeah that is my TBR shelf all done and I'm so pleased with it. And then just quickly over these shelves not much has changed. I have non-fiction at the top. This is kind of like books I'm thinking of getting to next month hopefully and then this is my TBR for this month so it's very very long we'll see how I do but this is just kind of what's on my radar for this month so yeah thank you guys so much for watching me reorganize my bookshelves I really hope you guys did enjoy and um, if you did don't forget to give it a like below um click subscribe and turn the bell to a little club and make sure you turn on all notifications so you can be notified every single time I post a new video if you want to watch one of my other videos there'll be two on the screen now to pick from as well as they've linked up in the cards from earlier so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye